Hello, today I wanted to talk about this worm gear that I made. So there are some of these available on different 3D printing websites, but uh, I didn't find any that did sort of what I wanted. I wanted to have a completely self-contained unit with sort of this bracket included to hold the two different gears, and I also wanted a nice dial on the outside. So uh, I ended up making my own in Fusion 360, and for anybody who wants it, I'll make the 3D printable parts uh, available, or if you want to modify it, it'll also make uh, the Fusion 360 uh, file available. And this was really just a test to, to sort of see how it would work. Uh, the specific use case I was looking at was with the tensioner. So my current tensioner has this compression spring in it, and that part, is it works quite well, but not flawlessly. It can still uh, have cases where this string can sort of pull and loosen itself over time. And one of the unique advantages of a worm gear is you can turn it with this dial and it has quite a bit of gearing. So it, it doesn't turn very fast, which is probably good. You get a lot of uh, control for a, a tensioning system on an e-spinner. But also this gear cannot, you can't turn this gear because you're pushing uh, perpendicular to the threads on the worm gear when you try to turn this one. So only one gear turns and that's exactly what you want with a tensioner on e-spinners. You want to have a system where uh, you know this dial controls the length of the string and this string is never going to you know be able to pull itself out over time or things like that. So I think this is a, a pretty elegant solution. I also thought that maybe some people who just do 3D printing would find this useful so I'm going to put all of the files up on printables.com and hopefully people will find it useful. As for if I'll put this into my e-spinners in the future, uh, it's a pretty expensive solution because I injection mold all of my parts and this requires one, two, three new parts at a minimum uh, compared to just one for my current dial. So uh, I'll think about it, but it's certainly not something I'm planning to put in. I think you could probably with some 3D printing retrofit this into the electric EOWheel 6, but um, that's not something that I'm going to focus on. Maybe somebody out there will want to uh, do a project like that. I'm not sure if it would actually fit. I haven't tried to figure it out, but um, I suspect uh, it would. You'd have to drill at least one new hole, and I'm not sure you could get all the parts exactly where you would want them, but uh, it'd be something interesting for the community to try out. Uh, I was pretty happy with this experiment. I was just sort of seeing how these kinds of gears work. It might find other uses for them uh, in my products, but I just wanted to show this off a little bit and let people uh, give me some feedback if you've got any thoughts on this. Thanks for watching.